Well, that reminds me of a story. Hold on. Here we go. Wait for the intro. It's storytelling time with Slappy Dog with Slappy Adventures. <laughs> okay. This is the story about the police, the popo, told me to pick up a turd and take it with me. Huh? What did you say, Slappy? The police told me to pick up that turd and take it with me. Well, here's how it goes. Another truck driver story. So I'm riding down the road. I think I was in New Jersey on the turnpike. You get on that turnpike, boy, it gets good and long. And I had something going on with my daggum belly. My belly was not doing me well. It was grumbling and bubbling and popping. Has anybody ever had that feeling when your stomach is bubbling and popping? One thing about driving trucks that you don't want to get into is having a belly button problem, your stomach bubbling and popping when you're uh, on the road. Because Let's just, let's just call it what it is. Them shit pains are not going to hit you where you want it to hit you. I mean, there's not always an opportune time where you got to take a dump and there's somewhere to take a dump nearby. So I have been holding it for quite a while. And it was one of them kind of shit pains. It was almost like he was giving me contractions. They go to Popo right there. It was giving me contractions like I was having a baby. That daggum thing hit you. <laughs> hit you in your daggum gut. you like, Lord have mercy. I got to find me a facility, and I mean quick. And so after that fourth or fifth contraction, I said, man, I can't take it no more. I think I had a turtle head poking out. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I think I had a turtle head snapped out of me, man. I said, good God, I'm about, I got to pull this bad Oscar over, man. I hate that shit on myself. Well, being the country boy that I am, I am not against or not familiar with having to do a number two outside. Anybody seen that movie Friday, Smokey? Isaiah caught him outside dumping in the bushes. Smokey! Buggy, what you doing over there, Buggy? Ugh. Anyway, I was having a smoky moment. And doggone, I leaned up against that daggum tire. You know, I got out of the truck, of course, and walked over there to the to the passenger side up against the guardrail. I leaned, I mean, it was like, it was like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, so it was dark. And I tell you about the daytime shit, but anyway, it was dark at this time. And I'm sitting up here trying to daggum get this daggum big ass log up out of me. And uh, I see some damn lights coming, some blue lights was flashing. So he got in behind me. I said, God almighty. So I can hear him walking with a flashlight in his hand. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm in mid stroke of using the bathroom. Ain't no jumping up when you daggum being in, in one of those kind of uh, moments. Cause that turd is going to come out when it comes out, how it comes out, and you don't want to stop it. It's hard to stop a train. You don't want to stop it. You want that up out of you. So I'm just sitting there with my damn pants down to my cankles. My panties down to my cankles. I'm like, Lord, please don't come around that corner. Well, he was knocking on the door. I'm leaning up against that cotton picking tire, trying to get this dog on this doggone baby out of me. He walks around the corner with his flashlight. He see, oh, driver. I said, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Officer, give me a second, please. <laughs> I said, I'll give me a few seconds. I said, uh, he said, all right. So I sat down there and did my business. Had my little baby wipes that I always carry. I carry those in my, on my bike. I carry them everywhere. So I have my baby wipes. Got myself cleaned up, and uh, he comes back around there. He said, you done? I said, yes, sir. 
He said, well, I could write you a ticket for pollution. I said, what do you mean? He said, uh, you got them baby wipes down there. I said, well, these are the biodegradable baby wipes. He said, well, I'm gonna need you to pick that up. I said, well, I ain't got no problem with that. And then he had the damn nerve to say, I'm need you to pick up all that shit too. I said, uh, what? He said, yeah, you pick up that paper and all that shit, I'm gonna write you a ticket for pollution. Or littering, rather. I said, man, you got to be joking. I said, now let me ask you this, Mr. Officer. He said, what? Would you write a bear or a deer ticket for shitting in the damn woods on the road? He kind of looked at me like, yeah, you ain't no bear. I said, yeah, but that damn shit is shit now. I said, well, I pick up this toilet paper and this baby wipes. But now, I ain't picking up no damn turd and taking it nowhere. I'm trying to dag on fertilize the dang them grass and feed these flies that's flying around this shit. He kind of looked at me, he said, well, go on and have a nice day. I said, thank you, sir. I sure appreciate it. And I got in that dang them truck. I said, this damn guy really just asked me to pick up a cop, pick a turd. <laughs> All right, boys. Hey, stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'm <laughs> <laughs>